the question for this presentation is you are thinking of incorporating a company in singapore and you are considering two options either as a subsidiary or as a branch office and what should be your choice so to understand this let's look at the differences between these two forms of entities and who which of the options scores more so if you consider the liability liability of the branch reaches to the parent company in its home country whereas in case of a subsidiary company liability of a subsidiary is independent and it will not have any impact on the parent company so obviously here subsidiary company scores one as far as directors and resident director requirements are there they are not different they are just terms slightly different in both these entities so no no specific form scores here the name of the branch must be same as parent entity with the word singapore branch added whereas in case of a subsidiary company it can be entirely different from parent company as far as memorandum and articles of association is concerned branch follows the memorandum and articles of association of the parent company whereas a separate constitution is prepared for subsidiary entity business scope of a subsidiary can be separate from that of the parent entity or it can be same so obviously subsidiary scores here now moving on to next slide here when it comes to corporate taxes branch is considered as a non resident entity and the tax benefit the tax exemptions those are available for existing as well as new startups are not available for the branch so obviously subsidiary here scores 1 point accounting year subsidiary company can follow its accounting year which can be different from that of parent entity uh, similarly when it comes to audit subsidiary company accounts may not be subject to audit depending upon the specific circumstances whereas in case of branch it is generally compulsory filing of parent company accounts in singapore is mandatory for a branch but it is not required for a subsidiary company and in case if there are any changes in parent company constitution directors or share capital that must be lodged every time the change happens in in the branch registration as a notification of change whereas all these activities are not required when the changes happen in parent entity and you have a subsidiary here in singapore so in summary i will say that unless you have a specific reason to incorporate or register a branch office subsidiary is always preferred over a branch office so your first choice should be subsidiary what i have seen that only 1% of foreign entities will register a branch and rest 99% of the companies will register a subsidiary or an independent company normally it will be a subsidiary thank you for watching this video this video was brought to you by epica consulting singapore subscribe to our channel today to get notified when new videos are posted